Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and um, today I'm still working on the Australian stock saddle setup, the endurance setup. And um, I was going to use a traditional scale rider. Usually I use classic and just call it youth, uh, but I decided to use this this particular uh, rider, and she's got really, really, really long legs. So my stirrup leathers, they're about a half an inch too short for her for a comfortable fit. So I went ahead and I lengthened them and I'm going to show you what I did to give it extra length so that she'll sit more comfortably. So I took off the keeper. I don't really like that keeper. I'll probably do a different one. And then um, I took off the buckle. Which can be challenging. There we go. And then I skived it really thin, okay? So I want it thinner than usual. I want to skive off any of the glue. And, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, straighten it so I don't, have the, I don't have that, all right? And then I cut two lengths of uh, lace from my scrap bag, actually. And... Um, I skived this end really, really thin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue those skived ends together like that. Um, so basically, this is uh, better than wasting, you know, another length of leather lace. And um, these pieces I, I just pulled from my scrap bag, so they were leather lace that was left over from a previous project. And then um, let that dry. Of course, you want to get it flush, you know, so that you can't tell. And if you look, it's hard to tell. I mean, you actually have to really look for it to find it. And then I'll go ahead and put the buckle back on. A good fold over here. It's only because it's probably more than I need. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and uh, buckle it up and put my keeper back on and um, probably want to pull more this way probably. And then I'll put my rider on and see if I've finally got enough length. Mm -hmm. 